Hey guys, from our Titan family to yours, we want to wish you a Merry Christmas, Happy Holidays, and a Happy New Year. Make sure you guys jump on those New Year's resolution goals now, get with Titan Medical Center so we can help you guys feel good, look good, and perform your very best. Hi everyone, I'm Chenille. I'm one of the nurse practitioners here at Titan Medical Center. I'm here to talk to you today about one of our awesome peptide therapies called AOD9604. With this therapy, it actually comes from a fragmented portion of the growth hormone molecule, which is specific to the fat burning portion of that molecule chain. So it's gonna help with optimizing where your body uses fat stores as a source for energy, and then help preventing the fats and the foods that you eat from becoming stored fat within the body. So this is gonna give you more of a specified mechanism of action without the other potential adverse effects that you might see with growth hormone. So if you're interested in the AOD 9604, give us a call 727-389-3220. We look forward to hearing from you. What's up guys, John here from Titan. And today we wanna to talk about thriving and not just surviving. Right now, let's really break this down. Thriving. What does thriving really mean? That means taking care of or getting the best possible ultimate result out of life or whatever you're doing. You're getting everything you possibly wanted. Let's talk about surviving. Surviving is having the necessities you need to live. Okay. So thriving means, listen, you can go out, you can get a great car, you can get a great house, you can have an awesome job. You're getting everything you possibly wanted. And I was just giving some examples out there. Your thriving may have a better definition or different definition than I just previously said to you guys. But let's talk about surviving. Surviving is, hey, listen, I've got a roof over my head. I've got food on my plate. I've got clothes on my back. I'm good to go. So you have the basic necessities to live through life. Thriving is going above and beyond that. Thriving is having all those necessities and going out there and working harder so you can receive and get all the other things that you possibly want. Now these might be materialistic things or these might be relationship things. These could, this could be a number of different topics or things that you want to have in life. But ultimately, you want to thrive, right? And a part of thriving is being the healthiest you possibly can. Because think about it, if you're thriving in your health, you're out there, you have tons of energy, you're being active, you're seeing all types of people, you're doing all types of things, and you're enjoying it. Surviving, for example, is saying you have a nine to five. You have to go there nine to five, and at that point, that's all you got. That's all you can possibly do because you don't have no energy to do anything else, you don't feel like it, you're depressed. Now you're just surviving. You're going day by day and just getting by. Instead of thriving, right? and you're going day by day and progressing past your goals of what you already had. You ultimately want to be thriving every day in your life. Now listen, you're going to have some good days and some bad days, but the majority of your days should be good, right? Because at that point, you are moving in the right direction and you're thriving. So there's some different things you can possibly do to thrive. One, set some goals for yourself. What do you want to achieve in life? What are these things? Write them down. It's important. It's important because some people don't write these things down. They have some inkling of what they want to do, but they have no goal and direction of where they want to be. So at that point, you need this. This is a roadmap. This is telling you where you want to go and what you want to achieve. Look at that list daily and start trying to conquer that list of whatever it is. Go down it in priority, right? One, two, three. This is what I want to accomplish now, next, after that, and start connecting and conquering those goals. Start thriving instead of surviving. Like, hey, listen, uh, well, I wanna do this today, but you know, I don't feel like it, and I'm just not gonna do anything. I'm gonna go home and sleep on the couch. You're not thriving, you're surviving. And at that point, the other part of this is health. You wanna thrive in your health. So when you're feeling good, you're out there and you can do anything you really want to. If you're just surviving, that can mean that you're sitting on a, a bed in the hospital. Yes, you're alive but you're barely getting by, you're surviving, okay? Now, there's certain instances where 
surviving is okay, right? If you're in an apocalypse and you know you have to go find food or whatever it is, you're just trying to survive and get by day by day. But we're not in that instance right now, okay? You're in an environment right now where you can thrive more than ever, more than you possibly know or give yourself credit for. So look deep down inside and think to yourself, am I thriving or am I just surviving? And at that point, if you wanna take your health to a different level, because when you're healthy, you're gonna be more motivated than ever, right? When your levels are optimal, when you have everything working right, just like a race car, you're gonna run that lap the best possible time you've ever had before. When everything is not working properly, you're down, you don't feel good about yourself, the confidence isn't there, you're not gonna run that lap as good. Let's say tires are off or balances are off in that car, same thing, that lap is not gonna be your best lap. So at that point, think about it. How can you thrive and not survive? So take this advice, put it forward tomorrow so you guys can start thriving and not just surviving. Call or text us today, 727-389-3220 and tell them John sent you. The human body is made up of many different parts, all of which have a special function. At Titan Medical Center, we can help you so that your body and mind can perform at optimal levels. Our unparalleled level of care, compassion, and professionalism is what sets us apart. Our patients are our number one priority. Call us today at 727-389-3220 or visit us online at titanmedicalcenter.com and become part of the Titan Medical Center family. How's it going folks? Cass, nurse practitioner at Titan Medical Center, here today to talk to you about one of our healing peptides, Thymosin Beta-4, also known as TB500. So a great healing peptide, works primarily to help you heal faster. So TB500 is going to help with rebuilding blood vessels, muscle fibers, nerve endings, increasing flexibility. So important when it comes to an injury or preventing injuries or even recovering after strenuous exercise or activity. TB500 can be injected to the area that you have that specific issue, inflammation or pain. So subcutaneous under the skin into the fatty area, right to the site where you have that injury. So injecting this once to twice a day can really facilitate healing at a faster pace. So if you're interested in learning more about TB500, give us a call 727-389-3220. I'd love to help you out. What's up guys? John here from Titan. And today I want to give you guys some tips of what not to do before you go work out or do strenuous activity. Okay? So everybody always talks about things they should do and what you should do, but there are definitely some things that you should not do or that will give you a negative effect on your workout. Let's talk about them. They're very common. I think you guys will all like, you know, like say like, you know what, that's me in some circumstances, I guess, right? So the first one is is not to eat a huge meal before you go and work out. All right. Now, it's okay to eat before you go work out, have a protein shake, right? You want your body to have some protein in there, maybe some branched in amino acids, some different things, okay? So it's good to do, but you don't want to just, you know, stuff yourself, just eat as much as possible, you're like, oh, I'll blur it out. If it, one, it's, it's a lot harder. Your body is in a slower metabolism state at that point. The other thing is, is you get tired. Right? That, that's one thing. When we get full, think of holidays. When you just stuff yourself full of these different turkey, ham, chicken, whatever it is, you're going to get full and that's what you're going to feel. You're going to feel full and you're going to feel, you know, set and you want to go get some sleep. So it might make you tired. So this is some, definitely something you want to stay away from. Don't overeat before doing activity or the workouts. Okay? I promise you, you guys will be good. The second thing is don't overdo it on pre-workouts or stimulants. This is a very, very common one. And let me give you an example. Some people get pre-workouts and usually it's one serving size and that serving size of, let's just say caffeine, can be anywhere from 200 milligrams to 400 milligrams per serving. That means per scoop. Now, some of these people take two, three, four scoops. That's way too much as far as caffeine goes. You're overdosing on this caffeine. And caffeine, you know, by legal description, is a drug, okay? It's, it's not a bad drug, but it's something that you don't want to overdose on because it gives you negative side effects. You can get jitters, heart palpitations, nausea, uh, your stomach, 
so having to go to the bathroom in, in the gym bathrooms before you go work out uh, is, is not really optimal, I guess, or not really uh, the place you want to be in. Or maybe you're, you do, I don't know. But <laughs> it's definitely a place that I would not like to do. And I used to pre do pre-workouts back in the day. I don't do them anymore. I do Hercules Potion or ECA Stack Plus, and I get no feeling like that. But there are a lot of people out there that still use these different things. So I want you guys to be aware of this. Don't do it. It will mess up your workout. You might not feel good, okay? That's not gonna give you an optimal state to work out the way that you want to to get you the optimal results that you're looking for, all right? Third thing is, don't go home before you go to the gym. Don't get off path. If you have to work, it's totally understandable. We all have to work every day, right? We gotta provide a life, you know, a livelihood. We gotta take care of our families. This is first priority in any means necessary, especially with me. But if you get off track or you, you make an excuse of where you need to go or what you need to do before that gym time, you have to set it as an appointment, schedule it in, whatever it is, you need to do that. Unless somebody's dying in the hospital, right? Or you're hurt pretty bad, you need to go. And you need to get it done and then you can get out of there and, and you can go take care of whatever you need to afterwards. So schedule it in, don't have any distractions. And a lot of people, if they do go home, they get real comfortable like, oh, you know, I'll just go tomorrow, right? I've been there, I know exactly how it is. So don't do that. I promise you, you'll have a better successful rate of going to the gym, having better activity, okay? And getting yourself better results. So this is just some of the tips and tricks that I've learned over the years that I wanna share with you guys to hopefully help you guys out. So I'm John from Titan. I got a ton of these different videos coming your way to help you guys out. So stay tuned. I'll be back with a lot, lot more. Thanks guys. Hello everybody, thank you. My name is John Sikoris and this is my beautiful, drop dead, gorgeous wife, Cherise Sikoris. And we are the owners of Tight Medical Center, which we have that beautiful booth out there, and those awesome exotic cars. So, what we do is, we want to make you guys feel better, look better, and perform better. With our therapies, we cover hormone replacement therapy for males and females, medical weight loss options, vitamin and amino acid injectable therapies, the B1 enhancers, Peptides, like healing peptides, weight loss peptides, and sexual peptides. Plus we have all kinds of libido enhancers for males and females. If you guys are in the area, come check out our headquarters down in Tampa. We can set you guys up with an ID or do a medical consultation to find out what's best for you guys. I want to take one moment here to say a huge thank you to Donna Crowley. Tell me Donna doesn't put on like the best events ever. And every year, it just gets better and better and better. So Donna, wherever you are, because I'm sure you're doing something very important. This is right there. Yes, I love you, Donna. And um, I just want to say thank you to everybody for coming out and always supporting Donna's events, always supporting Titan events. It just means a lot to us. So thank you guys, you all look beautiful tonight. Let's enjoy this awesome night that was put together by awesome Donna Crowley and watch these beautiful models rock the runway. Thank you guys.
up guys, John here. I'm Sharice. And we are back with another Cupid's Corner. Awesome, good information that you guys can utilize. Honestly, whatever doesn't break you will make you stronger. Sure. That is the truth. Every week, if you don't know, we come up with these tips and tricks to help you guys enhance your relationships. I hope they all see this episode. Whether it's reigniting that passion or just developing a better, stronger relationship. We went through a lot of these trials and tribulations, so we wanted to give you guys the shortcuts. I mean, you guys might even do this and not realize it. What's up, guys? John here. I'm Sharice. And we're back with another Cupid's Corner. That's right. The last one of this year. Just this year, though. Just this year, because you know we're going to be back in 2022. On the airways, on your TV, every Sunday, 11 a.m., ABC, and maybe some other stations. You just have to stay tuned to that next year Ooh. and find out where we might be. There might be some other spots. You never know. <laughs> Titan takeover, baby. But uh, listen, so it's New Year's Eve edition, Cupid's Corner. Uh, we thought it was only fitting because this is the last episode of the year, and uh, you guys are going to watch this on New Year's Day. Mm. Right? So it's going to be really cool. Well, I guess it's the second day of New Year's, if, if, to be technical. Um, but at that point, listen, it's New Year's Eve, and what did you guys do? I hope you guys went out and enjoyed yourself and maybe seen some fireworks, gave that New Year's Eve kiss, and made those great New Year's resolutions. <laughs> I think yeah. we all have those New Year's resolutions. We all come out in that, that, you know, that final moments of the ending of the year and we say listen we're going to do this or i'm going to do this or i have in my mind this is going to be the goal and a lot of times that goal might be weight loss it might be a better relationship better job whatever it may be you have your own goals and resolutions so uh, you know each year i like to make my own resolutions i really don't tell anybody because i don't want to jinx it or spoil it you know yeah, you can't say anything it's almost like a birthday wish yeah you definitely just, want to keep just make the wish and just don't say it all out but in all seriousness, <laughs> it's really good if you really write down your resolution and keep yourself accountable. Now, these resolutions could be anything. So let's just go with the most common resolution we hear at Titan Medical Center. What do you think it might be? Um, to be smarter. I want to <laughs> lose weight. <laughs> Especially because, you know, everybody got those COVID pounds. Um, everybody really wants to lose weight. They want to get their health better. So at that point, a lot of people were obese or maybe overweight. And they know to get their health better that they have to exercise, they have to sleep better, they have to eat better. They have to eat, right. And they have to get Titan therapies, possibly. You <laughs> gotta to get, get the Titan therapy. That's the only thing keeping me skinny, okay? You know, but you know, <laughs> for, for each week, we usually talk about tips and tricks for couples or maybe for you to enhance your life or quality of life. And I think that New Year's resolutions can be a good motivator for you. I know we always hear New Year, New Me type deal, but. You know, in all, in all honesty, you want to really set these goals up and you really want to hold yourself accountable so you can really achieve these goals. Um, and for us, you know, we always make, you know, goals together, right? And that might be a great thing for you as a relationship or partners to make your own goals together. Maybe mm -hmm. what you guys are going to achieve together and stuff like that. And then you guys can really hold yourselves accountable. And it could be, hey, listen, we're both going to lose weight. Mm -hmm. And that's, you know, both saying, hey, listen, let's go to the gym. Or when one person's feeling down or doesn't feel like going. Push you're, them. Yeah, you're really kicking them in the butt. You're, you're, you're putting that motivation and fire them in the butt. Like, hey, listen, <laughs> we're going to do this. Come on. You don't got to be mean about it. I mean, you can do two ways. You can be a drill sergeant. Oh, or, you, you know, you, you could put, you know, the carrot on the stick and, and basically, you know, motivate them to go there. And, <laughs> and that could be a number of different ways. So, listen, if you're a girl, you want to promise your, your guy, you know, some, some great favor that you might you know exchange or whatever it may be to bring or, their dinner up to bed you know if it's a guy a you know you might offer your wife a massage your <laughs> girlfriend a massage whatever it may be but yeah. you know these different things are a way to motivate each other and really to be able to accomplish different things that you might not been able to accomplish the year previous and you're really putting that into light and highlighting that goal or resolution so you guys are really on track to do it yeah, you know? no, I, mean, I agree. One hundred percent. We always do that every year. You know, the fireworks go off, uh, or like the ball drops, or whatever it is. And kind of like, it, I feel like I get like this emotional. I don't know what it is about that moment of like going into the next year. It's uh -huh. just so emotional, right? Yeah. I, I don't know what it is exactly. It's just I don't know. It's like you know, five, four, three, <laughs> two, ah, cry. But you know, it's almost like you kind of like hit the repeat button for two seconds, yeah. and you're like, wow. 
gosh, this year went by so quick, or this is what happened in this year, or this is what I went through this year, you know, this is what I learned this year, this is what I do and don't want for next year, you know, it kind of just rolls through your mind in, like, literally maybe, like, a 10-second time frame, yeah. and it's like, whoa. So, you know, yeah, every year me and John kind of, like, sit down, we're like, all right, and it's a little bit more complicated for us because we don't just have separate lives, right? We have, like, one life, but we're two people, yeah. you know, so we're like, all right, this is what we need to do for the business, this is what we need to do for our family this is what we want for peter you know this is what we want for us you know we usually leave us as last but you know as long as everything else is good That's and all right. the people around us are good we're usually at least okay with the fact that they're good right yeah. so you know it's that's okay. We've, we've come to terms on that. Absolutely. You know, <laughs> I, I think it's a big thing. And, and listen, we always really focus on those goals, and it's, it, it's a great thing, you know, to be able to achieve those goals. Um, you feel really good about it. You feel good about yourself. It's a confidence booster all the way around. Um, and set achievable goals. Don't set, you know, these out-of-the-world type goals, right? If it's, you know, you want to lose weight, not, I'm going to want to lose 100 pounds, and, you know, it's probably not going to happen that quick. I'm or it could be anything. like, let's just say even like it wasn't even about weight, right? Let's just say you guys been talking about a new house for a while, right? And you're like, all right, listen, this year we got to get this new house, right? So what are you going to do to get the new house? Because right. listen, if you really think about it, guys, there's a lot of things that people can do to achieve the goals that they're trying to achieve realistically if they do different things, right? Sure. So for sure. instance, right, let's just say that the, the, the mortgage payment on the house is going to be... I don't know. I'm just throwing a number out there. Let's, let's say it's going to be 1500 bucks, right? And you're like, oh, well, we can only afford 1000 right now. All right, well, then let's break down what we're spending money on. Oh, well, we're buying, you know, some beer here, and we're getting Uber Eats here, and, you know, we went out and bought some clothes here. So snip, 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 snip. All of a sudden, boom, you have an extra $500 a month. I'm like, wow, we can make this happen for mm -hmm. sure. We can definitely make this happen. Mm -hmm. But it's like, you know, where can you cut things out to make other things happen? And sometimes when you cut those things out to make the other things happen... The other things come with the other things that happen, if that makes sense. No, it's true. I mean, <laughs> if you're really you're, you're really aware of things, you're really writing down and going over things like that, especially finances, that's the whole way, way that I work. He does the money. I'll look at the money. I'll see exactly what we're spending money on, and I'll say, listen, can we spend this money a different way? Or, you know, can we cut maybe this big sum up that maybe we're not using? You know, the biggest thing that I see out there, and I seen a couple apps that just came out for it, was like subscriptions to things. So when you sign up to like these different oh gosh, apps and stuff like yeah. that, you sign up for a subscription-based thing. And that's been the model of all new businesses out there, subscription-based business, because it's... They just ding your card every month. Yeah. It, ding, it, it's, ding. it's constantly $10, every month. $10, you don't even recognize yeah, it. Yeah, it's okay. something that doesn't hit you and you don't think about it at that point, but it's 10 bucks. Yeah. So over a whole year, they're going to charge you 1200 bucks. Now, add that to the bottom end, or, you know, the bottom end of the, the, the tail of what you're trying to really achieve. Um, and at that point, these things are going to add up really quick. And, uh, you know, I, I was looking at mine. I'm like, I don't even know what these things I'm using are being charged <laughs> for, right? A lot of people in this situation and don't even think about it. And they're like, oh, I'll take care of it later. And just it goes on every month and ding, ding, ding. And like I said, it adds up. And at the end of the year, you're like, damn, I paid $2,000 for this thing that I didn't even use. Yeah. Or didn't even know what it was. Yeah. And that's and that's horrible. And that's like flushing money down the drain. It's basically going out there and throwing dollar bills or $10 bills or whatever it is out there. Mm -hmm. I say it all the time. Um, you know, but it's just something that you guys got to just be aware about. Um, and if it's, if it's about finances or trying to do that, like really looking at it in detail and seeing what kind of resolution you do. And that's for any of your goals out there. Really see it, identify it. And, you know, look at your options of what you can do to change it. And mm -hmm. at that point, that's really your best, that's the best thing I can, I could say yeah. um, as far as achieving your goals are really trying to, to hit that level. You result. can make it happen if you really want it. Yeah. So, you know, it's just a beautiful thing. So hopefully your 2022 has started off with a bang and you've got your New Year's resolutions ready to go. You're going to write them down, put them in your phone and check them every day. Look at it. Look at yourself in the mirror and tell yourself what you're going to achieve. Manifest these things out yeah, there. I right? manifest things every day. Really. You know, talk about it. Talk about what you're going to do to achieve it. See it. Believe it. Go after it. You guys got this. I know you guys can do it. Um, me and Sharice have manifested things in our life. Um, and I see a lot of people do this all around us. So you guys aren't any different. So whatever your goal is, really, really think about it. Really, really want it. And go after it with everything you possibly can. Um, that's the best advice we can give you for the end of the year. Yes. The last episode of Cupid's Corner. Man, this is crazy. I think, it was, is this my two, two years? I think so. Whoa. Wow. Two years doing this show. Wow. On to our third. We need a reality thing. show. 
Hint, hint. Might come soon. Hint, wink, hint. wink. I don't know. I don't know. Maybe this way. I wait. You might see wink, some of wink. that. It's very, very soon. <laughs> <laughs> but no, guys, you know, I hope 2022 is your best year ever. Um, really, you know, believe in it and you guys will achieve it. So that's just a little bit of advice for me and Sharice, my beautiful wife here. I love you. So guys, don't worry. We're going to be back in 2022 this whole year for you guys. DVR us if you have to. But if you guys can't DVR us and you haven't seen us live, make sure you guys are checking out our social media pages because you'll see all this cool content and a lot more. Instagram, it's at Tight Medical. Facebook, at Tight Medical Center. TikTok, at Tight Medical Center. And Twitter, Tight Medical CEN. Um, YouTube, check that out. All our videos on there. You guys are going to love that. And we will see you guys next year because that's the alarm. I got to go. Love you. From Cupid's Corner to you guys. Me and Sharice, we're out of here. See ya.